Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am here at Gear Gaming Fayetteville to try some more LVO practice. And today we have the debut for the channel. We have another Ben in the area, who is a relatively new player that's been getting some experience with some of the other guys around here. And he was gracious enough to let me try this out. This is my Dual Liberty Maydean list, so we'll see how that goes. And I just want to remind everybody that uh, don't forget to comment in my videos to enter the giveaway for the uh, $25 store credit to Adam Rotator and the special turn dial that he has. And I'll be announcing the winner for that on January 3rd, not the 1st, because I remembered I'm going to be out of town. So when I get back in town on the 3rd, I'll be announcing the winner for that. So coming up next, I'll be going over the fleets in the mission, and then you'll see Ben and I deploying as we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. For the Rebels, we have General Maydean on a CR-90 Bravo Corvette. Two MC-80 Star Cruisers with gunnery teams, engine techs, SW-7 Ions, XI-7 Turbolasers, and Link Turbolaser Towers. And two GR-75s, one with Lando Calrissian, Bright Hope, and Slicer Tools, and the other with Ray Antilles and Munitions Resupply. For the Imperials, we have Admiral Ozel on an Onager testbed with the Cataclysm title, Intel Officer, Ordnance Experts, Veteran Gunners, and Orbital Bombardment Cannon, a Kuat with Relentless, Emperor Palpatine, Veteran Gunners, Reserve Hangar Deck, Early Warning System, Leading Shots, and External Racks, and a Gazanti Cruiser with Hondo Anaka, the Vector title, Munitions Resupply, and Reserve Hangar Deck. For Squadrons, the Imperials have Saber Squadron, Tel Travera, Suntir Fell, Colonel Jendon, and a TIE Interceptor Squadron. For our fleets, I came in way under points. My intention is to have a very high bid with this fleet so I can almost always guarantee I get to go first. So I chose to be first, and so I had to choose from Ben's missions, which were Most Wanted, Contested Outpost, and Solar Corona. And I chose Solar Corona, which you guys all know well. I have to deploy everything first, then Ben deploys everything. Choose a board edge that becomes the Corona. And when a ship shoots a ship, if the firing arc crosses the Corona, after you roll your dice, you have to remove a single accuracy. So coming up next, you will see Ben and I deploying in a sped up fashion while we discuss our strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. Alright, so now that you guys have seen the fleets in the mission, now see uh, Ben and I deploying. And so, thoughts behind my list, I just was wanting to, I really like, after I just, you know, tested it out about six, seven months ago, the double Maydean, or the Maydean double Liberty, and just do all navs, just to make these Liberties far more maneuverable than they have any right to be, just because it's funny, and see if I can make it work. And I actually did a couple of test games with Aaron about a month ago. Didn't do it on camera. We just played a few games in a row. Found some areas where there's some weaknesses to it. And um, lost both games. I played against his uh, Osmo list. And so I've made some refinements. Some of the, one of the main ones is that including Bright Hope. And basically it's just turning that into an annoying linebacker. Um, you'll notice that it's got slicer tools and Lando, and the goal with Bright Hill was just to fly up into people's faces, get in their way, and start slicer tooling until it dies. And the other thing I added was the um, GR-75 with munitions resupply to fuel the gunnery teams um, so that I can maximize the firepower out of these front arcs of these liberties. And then, of course, Maydean is just on the CR-90 and just going to be running around, staying away, and just running away like a little coward so that he doesn't die. And, I don't know, we'll see how this goes, because any game against an Onager is always challenging. Never mind against an Onager and a Kuat. And I'm gonna just going to see if I can outmaneuver these two powerhouse ships, because if I can't, I'm going to be deleted very fast. Um, so the goal is, is going to be trying to to split them and get into their sides and not let them get their heavy shots in on me. We'll see if that happens or not. It didn't work out when I practiced against Aaron about a month ago. And uh, this is one that I'm probably going to consider for the relaxed tournament. That's going to be on Friday at Las Vegas. 
And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, ben, why don't you tell me about your list and your inspiration behind it, etc. All right, so um, here I got a nice 396 point um, Admiral Ozzel list, with the flagship being our Onager test bed, um, with, uh, with running with Cataclysm tile here. So the idea with this is to simply have the Onager sit at range and target the, the bigger ships with the orbital uh, particle cannon. And uh, while it's being prone to being outmaneuvered most of the time, we have the, uh, hopefully the Kuat's gonna run escort detail with uh, Emperor Palpatine. And so the idea is to, uh, with Solar Corona, is just to sit behind that, or with a uh, Corona behind us and uh, hopefully get some super heavy shots. And if they come in close to the Onager, well, the Kuat will take care of it. All right, well, sounds good. So, um, coming up next, Ben and I will be planning our dials, and then we'll be back at the start of round one. All right, start of round one. So you guys know, my entire fleet's at speed two. Bright Hope is up in the front there with the uh, number nine marker. Maidine over here. And just so you guys know, I forgot to mention it, this is the Corona, this side of the table. And just some things so you guys know what's being proxy. The Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighter is actually Tel Travura. And then the TIE Fighter Squad is Saber Squadron. And just a couple proxies here. And I think the entirety of the Imperial Fleet is at speed 2. So all going at speed 2 for now. And I'm um, also of note... Uh, ben is going to get two pass tokens because I outnumber him five to three, and I am right, we are going to start with General Maydeen. It is a Navigate, and I'm going to use it, speeding up to speed three. And just because I can, I'm going to do some super janky stuff, just because it's funny. Um, so, I'm just going to do something like this. Extra click from the dial, extra click from Maydeen. Swing out, like so. The Onager is going first. Uh, what's the dial? Uh... Well, yeah, I got. Yeah, I have to place the. Uh... Yeah, so I have to place the ignition token now. Okay, so is that for you reveal the dial? Yeah, it's at the start of the ship. Start right, ship phase. Yeah, we've got some ship phase stuff, guys. Um, Honda went off, so he took a con fire, so he do cataclysm and a repair, which he put on the Kuat. I got a navigate, which I put on Maydeen. I just have that, and then a squadron that I put on Bright Hope. Right, and then there is the ignition. So now we are a little bit out of order because I forgot to ask. So now, which ship are we going to be doing first? All right. We're going to do the onger first. There's a concentrate fire dial, and um, he's going to see if he's in range for his big particle cannon, which I believe he is. Yep, in long range at my unmarked liberty. Yep. All right. So that's going to be four reds All total. All right, so long range shot coming in. That is a really good start. And got concentrate fire. Yep, so I'm going to add an additional red. With a crit. And uh, so... I didn't roll any accuracies, but I'm going to use my intel officer on the brace for that ship. So which one? I guess any oh, one? Uh, yeah, so just yep. the first brace. Yep. Alright, well I'll use the other brace and the other redirect. And so that'll be two, four, six, seven, brace down to four. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be using your specialty crit? Uh, yes, I will. I'm going to take two off my port shields and two off my front shields. And then, um, so right hope is it two damage to ships? Yep. Orbital? Yep. So it's a uh, two ships or two damage to all ships within distance one. Yep. So my two DR seventy fives. I take a damage on the rear for each of them, and they both take a face down. All right. So slowing down to one with Ozel. These were right here. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's close enough where they were. And where do you want to place the ignition token? Uh, I believe it would be best if we put it. And we'll put it right there. 
just you know when you're placing it does need to be within the long range yep but it's not gonna make that difference much of a difference but all yeah, right that's my star cruiser the unmarked that just got nailed it's a navigate you're gonna use it speeding up to speed three and getting extra click here at the one from the dial extra click here at the two from Maydine. And slide in like so, and I am not going to use engine text because that'll put me over the ask a lot. Flat, uh, the Palpatine ship. Which is a concentrate fire. I think I'll just save that as a token for now. Makes sense. And uh, we're going to... I think we're going to keep him at speed two. And just make sure you're not locking it in when you're doing your adjustments for the, the tool. Yeah. That. And that. Yeah, that looks good. There you go. I'm just going to go like right there. Yep. Very good. All right, gonna go with my marked Liberty. Navigate, surprise, surprise, speeding up to three. I think we're just gonna do this. Just a little side step here. And then to choose the nav, we are gonna go ahead and use engine text. And go like so. Zanti. All right, so with that, we're going to do uh, another concentrate fire, and we'll save that as the token. And we're going to, let's, we'll keep them at speed two for now. Right there. All right, last, I got both my GR-75s. Start with Lando on the Bright Hope. It's an engineering. I'm going to discard this uh, squadron token that was superfluous. Thank you, Rondo, for nothing. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a token with my engineering and moving at speed two. A little something like this. And then we will go ahead and go with Ramis Antilles. On the other one, which is a Navigate, we'll be using it, getting my free token from Ramus, and then distributing out Concentrate Fire tokens to both of my Liberty Cruisers. And be using that token to refresh later. And staying at speed two, I think. I don't know if I want to yeah, we'll just use the dial to... No, actually I'm going to use the dial to speed up to three. I need to get some obstruction between this honor here, man. It's been hitting hard. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and get an extra click at the one from the dial. Actually, we're going to do a click at the two from Maydeen. Then I already get a double click at the end anyway. Something like that. And that is it for the ship phase. Next is the squad phase, which we'll just do off camera and have Ben move his squads, and then we'll be back at the start of round two. Round two. Now, just you know, if some of my refresh in here, I refresh slash of tools with my engineering token and munitions with my nav token. And uh, this is definitely going to be a game where we are engaging quickly. There will not be a lot of delays. <laughs> we are already getting into the mess of things. And, uh, yeah, we got to get out of that honor gear shot. Can't take another one of those. All right, we're going to go with my wounded. Liberty is the navigate, using it, of course. Got to get all the Maydeen shenanigans. Uh, getting extra click at the three from either Dow or Maydeen. Does not matter. We'll slide on over here. And then I will be using engine techs. And bring up some more. Alright, so. 
I've got the culotte. I'm going to reveal the concentrate fire dial. I'm going to oh. use that. And we're just going to be shooting at that front arc of that already damaged MC-80 with just reds. Yep, so, and we'll just do it here just because it's only two dice to start. So, yeah, so are we counting that as a uh, No, that's a clear shot. Okay. So we got uh, three reds actually coming in. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to keep it here. Some long range pot shotting going on. Alright. Still got three shields, or two shields on my car. Alright. Actually, it should be three. Sorry, I started with five. Oh, okay. Yep, because I took four. Two Alright, so what we got? Right. Accuracy, hit, crit, and then concentrate fire. Alright, so I don't think that's very good. So I think I'm going to use my veteran gunners to reroll all that. Okay. Uh, that's about the same. It, it's exactly the same, yeah. Accuracy hit crit blank, so what would you like to lock down? I have two braces and a redirect. Alright, so um, I'm going to accuracy one of your braces, and I'm going to intel ops for your other one. Okay. So I don't think you have intel on the kuat. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was tricky with Ongar. Never mind. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm just going to accuracy your redirect. Okay, so I can't redirect it, so I will go and embrace down to one, and now my shields go down to two. Alright, and we got movement. So you guys know, no shot out the side here because it's just one red, it is long range and obstructed. Right. So, uh... Although technically, uh, now that I remember, just for people watching at home, that actually would have actually been discarded as soon as he rolled it because of the Coronas over here and the arcs going into the Corona. It didn't make any, I, I'm not going to redirect it anyway, so it's not going to matter. Um, Got to remember about the Corona, I always forget when we start playing. I think currently speed two with the Kuat, correct? Yep. So I think we are going to go um, easy on that two there. Oh, whoops! It's a little yep. bit far. You're yep. right. And if you're going to three, the one needs to be at a zero turn. Yes. So and then you can do another one at the that. three if you want to do continue to do yeah. a similar turn like so that. So like that. There you go. Yeah. So then we're just gonna move. Over here, and uh, yeah, he's nice, close, and personal with that liberty. All right, going with my other liberty to navigate, and I do have a side shot into the back of the Kuat, but Palpatine's there and it's obstructed. It is not worth doing those exhausted tokens, so I'm not even going to take the shot. Um, and we're going to stay at speed three, moving on forward. Yeah, I'm just gonna do something like this. Extra click from the dial at three. And then we are gonna engine text for forward one. Like so. Okay, what do we got? So we got a nav token. Or a nav dial rather. And uh, I am going to use the dial in a moment, but first. I want to make a shot. Yeah, I got a little blue plot shot coming at the front. Yep. And a, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, a new munitions. I do want to do munitions. Yep. Pass them out to Onager. Yep. We're going to pass it to the Onager. Yep. The Kuat's already got one. Yep. So we'll tap that. All right. And one blue into the front of my, my damage liberty. Mm -hmm. And it's accuracy, so big fat nothing. Unless you want to spend your confire token to re-roll yeah. that, but I'm assuming you want to keep that to refresh your munitions. Um, yeah, I think I'll just keep it to refresh my munitions yeah. for later. Sounds good. And then he's going to move. Yeah, currently I speed 2, but you got the nav and you got Oswald, you got all the options. So uh, I think we're going to take him to speed 3. And so this is going to be some top-notch piloting right here. So, I do that. Yeah. I was getting the extra click at the one, mm -hmm. and then sliding on over. 
pretty good. There's Antilli ZR75, which is this one. As an engineering, getting the Ramus token, I'm going to use both to get rid of my damage card I took from that massive explosion that just happened. And going speed two, me. Do something like this. Just eyeball that. Alright, All right, so we got the Onager. Alright. Uh, hmm. Well, you successfully outmaneuver my super weapon. Unless I want to take a shot over there, but I'm not quite sure that's going to be worth it. Well, so with the ignition shot, if you have a valid target, you have to shoot with the ignition shot. Oh, okay. Yep, and you do have a valid target in Bright Hope. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll do that, though I th it's going to be obstructed. Correct. And what is the uh, dial? I'm guessing probably... Um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be con fire. A straight fire, all right. All right, so it's long range we just measured from the token. Extreme range, but long range from the uh, ignition token. So four reds to start us off. Well, it's not too bad, but not super great either. All right. right. I'll add one for the con fire. Yep. So, ooh. And then I'm going to spend the Onager's con fire token to re-roll one of these. Okay. Nice. And um, I'm going to Intel Officer the Scatter. Okay, Intel the Scatter. So... I want to do this now. I am. So Lando is going to do Lando's thing. I'm going to have you re-roll all three doubles. Okay. Alright. So it became a hit and two crits instead. Yep, so I still need to do this, so I'm going to burn this. So, first instance, it's long range. Then it's extreme range, then you're larger ship than me, so cancel three. Okay. And then Bright Hope, I get to reduce damage by one. It's not into my back, so no damage. Ouch. But you forced me to get rid of my evade and Lando earlier than I wanted to. <laughs> Probably should have just burned the evade without wasting Lando. A port shot into the front of my marked Liberty. Two reds and a blue. All right, what do we got? So three crits. And I do not believe I've used my veteran gunners yet. You have not. So I think I'm going to use those now. Which has a better roll. So I'm going to accuracy the redirect. Yep, so I'll brace to two and have to take on the front. Front shields go down to three. Yep, and now for movement, you've got... Uh, We're going to pop it up. speed one, but you've got Ozzel. You can go up to two. It's my priority to just get out as soon as I can. So that does make sense. I might have to bite the bullet on this one. So going into the asteroids. Okay. So just one face up. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be coolant discharge. What does that do again? Only only one attack you perform each round can target a ship. Oh, well, that stinks. Yeah, it kind of stinks, but I'm close to the space station. You are, yes. You'll be able to land on that next turn, should be. And did you want to place your ignition token? Um, I believe I do, yes. So I think... I guess it doesn't really matter what range I put it at, because I'm going to catch those transports, probably. So we'll just do it, like, right... There. Okay. I'm going to go with Bright Hope. Which is an engineering. I will take a token. And then I will be moving at speed 2. And I don't think there is any way. Ah, I should have done a nav. Oh, I'm going to be Self, uh, killing Bright Hope for sure. Um, so we're just going to come in like this. And land on this debris field. 
We're going to take two damage on this side, so one and another face down. So Bright Hope's almost dead. Poor maneuvering on my part, but we will get a slicer tools off. Um, uh, the next dial on the honor gear, we will make it a squadron command. Okay. So the top dial you got there, you're just going to switch it to a squadron. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we will do uh, Maydeen. Navigate. Going to use it to speed up to speed four. All right, that's it for the ship phase, but we have a couple squads in range that can shoot at uh, Bright Hope, or not, yeah, Bright Hope. Okay. If they want to. So, hmm. I'm worried if I should go for that or if uh, the MC-80s are my uh, priority. So you're not in range of the MC-80s. You know what, um, If you wanted to move them this course, but if you want to take shots, you are in range with... Um, Jendon, um, Teltravera, and Suntir. Okay, so Unless you want to just move them instead. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to have Tel move towards the side arc of this MC-80. Yeah, because he is rogue, so he can do that. So we will go and attack uh, what's one blue. One blue for yep. Tel. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so one blue into my marked MC-80. One hit. Yep, so one hit. I will go ahead and redirect that to my back. Jenden going to tell him to do it again? Yep, he is. He's going to sit in his nice VIP shuttlecraft. Yep. And just. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Do it again. And it's a critical, which uh, does nothing for me. Yeah, but it's unfortunately, well, I'd say unfortunately, Tell's already got enough stuff going for him. <laughs> but he's not a bomber. Uh, <laughs> I would, uh, the you know, one point of shield damage, I'll call that a win. And then did Sunter want to take a shot at, right, now just, you know, before you, you probably don't want to because since you'll be shooting into the side, I automatically cancel the damage from Bright Hope Tiger. Yes, so. so I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to, uh, Move Sunter over here because I want him to begin swarming that MC80. Makes sense. And then we'll do the same thing for these two squadrons here, Saber and the generic interceptors. That makes sense as well. All right, well that's it for round two, guys, and we will be back at the start of round three. Start of round three. And just real quick, I did refresh my slicer tools with my engineering token. And munitions were re uh, refreshed over on the Imperial side as well. And things are going to be getting a little bit hairy, just a little bit. And because uh, lots of engagements are about to All start All right, we're going to go with my unmarked Liberty. It is a Navigate. Barely missed out on a front arc into the back of this Gazanti. Um, otherwise, I would have used my gunnery teams to do two front shots, and since I can't, I'll be doing a side to side and then front to side into the onager at medium. Okay, so we'll start with the side shot first into the side. As you know, both these shots are not going into the corona, so it is quote unquote clear as far as my accuracies are concerned. So side shot first, two reds and a blue. <laughs> uh, all right, that actually is not terrible. So I'm actually going to use my accuracy to stop your salvo and use that with SW7s to count as the damage. So two damage. And I do have XI7, so only one can be redirected. Okay. And is this towards the side? To the side, yep, your starboard side. Hmm, for two damage. I think it would be prudent to just take the damage. Okay. And now for front to side, we get four blues. And three reds. I'll be using both accuracies on this one. All right, that is a really good shot. So I am going to stop your brace and I will stop your salvo again. So that'll be six damage. Six, okay. I can only redirect uh, one? One, correct. Okay. 
So I guess I'm going to redirect from the front for one damage. Mm -hmm. And then five internal, first one face up. Hmm. That's painful. So, uh, for the face up, I got compartment fire. It's really, really brutal. Yeah, that, that was a very uh, nasty shot for sure. And then, um, <laughs> and then four running? face down. Four face down. Yeah. So I'm currently at six out of 11. Or out of 10. Right, so I'm at speed three. Using the dial, get an extra click here, and may Dean for an extra click at a three. Swing on in. Keep this onager in my sights. Onager is up. It's a squadron token. Which is absolutely brutal. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to activate Sontier Fell. Actually, so we won't do Santier Fell, we'll just do this regular Interceptor Squadron right here. And you'll shoot at that side arc. Yeah, he'll just need to scoot over just a little bit so he's not obstructed by the station. Yep. Yeah. Alright, one blue dice. Critical, nothing. Alright, then who do you want to shoot with your ignition shot? You can mm -hmm. shoot Bright Hope, or you can shoot at this tier 75 back here. Uh, I think the, be... the shot at Bright Hope would actually be considered with your long range dice because it is measured from the ignition shot. Yeah, I do think that that's be... gonna be so. enough to kill him though. It's possible. Yep. So we'll do that. So shooting at Bright Hope. All right, so all right. four reds coming in. This will be into my side. All right, well that's pretty good. And I think that actually, that'll actually do it, because I only have one health left, because of all the running over things I've been doing. So you stop my scatter, I get rid of one for Bright Home, take one in the shield, take one in the hole. So that is enough to take me out. Yep. And then, where would you like... So that was your ignition shot, where would you like your next shot to go? Uh, I believe it's placed after. Correct. Why don't you see uh, your second shot? Oh uh, yeah, well I, I can only shoot at one ship. Oh, that's right, because of your crit. Hey, I'm, I forget. We're doing a speeding up. I get as far out of the way as we can, but I think those MC-80s will catch up to me. Because Imperial ships are not known for being as fast. Well, they're actually the same speed, but I have engine techs that's letting me oh, yeah, that's keep true. up with you. So we'll do... One click, and then not one click. He's going to be uh, sitting on the station. Oh, you're at speed three. Correct. So, so you need to be yeah, like one yeah, more. So yep. Go like right. Yep. There. Yep. Still on the station, though, so you can heal a crit or any damage card. I'm assuming it's going to be a crit. Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely going to do those first. Yeah. Which crit do you want to get rid of? Uh. I think it's going to be best that I get rid of my uh, compartment fire. Probably a good idea. Because <laughs> that's preventing me from refreshing my tokens. Yep. Alright, and then uh, did you want to place your ignition token? Uh, mm, I don't think there'd be a point right now because it's just a whole lot of empty space that way. That is a good point. We'll do Medine next. It is a concentrate fire. We have a medium range side and front shot into the side of that Gazanti. Take some pot shots there. Side shot will not be chronoed. Front shot is going into the, your, uh, the uh, defense tokens for the Xanthi 4 4. All right, we are going to start with the side shot. Side to side. And then we will. I'll go and do my concentrate fire in this one. We'll add in a blue. Stop your scatter. Ouch. So I think then it would be best to evade. Okay. So uh, medium range, it's just re-roll one? Maybe? Correct. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make you a re-roll that crit. Makes sense. So just normal damage then. Well, better than a crit. Yep, so it's be one on the shield, one face down. And is this on the front or the side? On the side. Okay. Face down. And then we'll do front to side. And this one, if I get an action, I'm, I have to get rid of it. <laughs> well, I get rid of one, I'll use the other one to stop the scatter. Crit. And then the evade was spent last round. I do think I want to burn the evade now. Yep. 
Makes sense. For another face down. So I'm actually using Maydeen to use the token to get an extra click and get it at the one, stay at speed four. Gotta remember that if I'm gonna take this to a tournament that I can do that with tokens. So I will ram, give a damage to the Gazanti, and then end up, that's actually still gonna be a ram, and then end up right there instead. So that'll be another face down for the Gazanti. I think that will take it out. Yep, that is uh, three damage, so it will perish. For those who play Maydeen, remember his tokens can count as ticks if you want them to. But I already have the token for that, so it's not going to do much good this time. What? I do believe my side arc is in long range of both. Yep, so you could get uh, one red, and then one red out your back to my other one if you wanted to, actually. Yep, so um, we'll do the side arc first. So we're going to shoot from this side into this MC-80 side. Yep, makes sense. So one red. Uh, get one red over here. Side side, that's clear shot. Got two shields there. Right, it's gonna be oh, a double. double. Very nice. I'll go ahead and brace that. And I will redirect to the front. So front shield's down to two. And then the rear shot. Uh, yes. Here we go. Yep. That's or a single. Hit. Um, I do believe I'd like to burn my cluster fire token. Here. And then roll that. Yep. And you can cook off that double again. Ooh, same thing. And I'll just take it on the shield so port shield's down to one. Sounds good. Currently the Kuat is what, at speed three? It's currently at speed three. But we got Oswald who can do all fancy things with him. So like that. But at least he's gonna be... Oh, well, he's already threading Maydeen. I think I know who I'm going with first next round. <laughs> oh boy. But at least he is gonna be relatively safe from those MC-80s. Yes, my other that star is. Cruiser. It is a Navigate and I'm going to do a double arc side and rear shot into the Onager and see if we can't keep, and this will be into the side both shots. The side shot actually, let me see if it's in the Corona, it is, so the side shot will have the Corona effects. Alright, so we got two shields here on this side. We will start with the side shot and we'll get this Corona out of the way. So two reds and a blue, uh, don't even have to worry about it. And actually, I'll just leave that as is, so three damage. Three damage, okay. Mm. And XI sevens on this one as well. Both liberties are exactly the same loadout. Right. So, um, with this, I believe he's going to redirect from the front for one damage, his X87. And then he's just going to take those two crits, so he'll be at zero shield on the side. Sounds good. And then we'll do the rear shot, which will be two blues. Two damage. Okay. Uh, he'll take those, I think. It's on the side, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you've you already taken five damage, is that right? Uh, you got on the hole right now? Yes. Right, she's currently at six. See, actually, you know what? I think it's high time to burn this redirect. So move one and take one? Uh, yep, yeah, just move one and take one. Okay. One to the front and take one more face down. It's very, very painful, but I think it has to be done. Did you want to salvo any of those? Yep, I think I'll salvo that rear. Okay. So it's going to be a red and a blue. Red and a blue into my back. Alright, so double and a crit. That's really good. I'm just you guys can see where my defense tokens are at. Now I have, what, one shield on the back? I think I've redirected to the back. Is that correct? Uh, I believe you did, yes. One shield on the back. Um, alright, so... Do you want to intel officer anything? Uh, I will... I'm going to intel officer that green brace. That makes sense. Alright, so... I do not want to take a crit. Yeah. Uh, they have one. So I'm actually going to... I burn this, that's two. And I burn this to move to my starboard side. I have two shields on my starboard, right? 
yes, you currently do. Yep, and I'm going to move them both to the starboard side. So burn both of those, and shields down on the starboard side. That was a really good travel back. All right, we're moving. Yep. Uh, going to take uh, use Maydean. Uh, click at the one extra, and then from the dial, and that for Maydean extra at three. Slide over like so, and we will go ahead and use an engine tex to continue on moving. I have a feeling I've got a date with a kuat in a couple turns. Probably not going to rain until he's an engineering. I'm going to use that to raise my back shield and taking a token from Ray. And can't really do anything right now. Uh, this Gazanti is definitely not in the best position. Not Gazanti. This is GR75. Gotta remember what side I'm playing for here. Do something like that. If only these things had guns. Like Gazantes did. Alright, that's it for the ship phase, guys. And we got some squadrons. Um, he might move Tell to go take a shot with Rogue, probably will. And But I'll tell you all about that when we come back. Start of round four. Alright, start of round four. Uh, not much going on over here except we're mourning the death of Lando. So sad. Um, electronic warfare system moved to the starboard here. And then the squad just kind of just congregating in the middle here to maybe try to catch me in the squad phase as I fly by. Tell moved over and did take a shot on the port side and did a damage that I had to take on the shields of my marked Liberty. Alright, we're going with Maydeen. I made a pretty big tactical error. I made a concentrate fire because I thought I had him double arc, but I didn't measure. I just measured. I do not. And I do not want to take just one shot with having to do Palpatine. So we're just gonna fly away at speed four. Took a token with my concentrate fire. All right, Onager going first. What do we got? He's in a bit of a tight spot right now. Yes. Uh, we got a nav dial, and I think I can only shoot another ship once. But we're gonna do from my side into the front of your. Do it in the blue. Makes sense. Do it in blue. Yeah, do it in blue. All right. Well, there I. Do you know, I kind of have to take a damage. <laughs> yep, uh, I'm assuming you want to keep that. Let's see. Mm. So with the Intel Ops I could cancel something anyway, but I don't see much. Well, it's not canceling. It's just if well, I yeah, spend. Well, it's if he uses that. Yeah. Just delete it. Um, which I don't see why you wouldn't risk a defense token to spare that. Uh, I think it'd be prudent to use my veteran gunners this time. Okay. We roll everything. See, that's better. I think. Okay. And then, um, and then uh, Intel Officer, that's kind of... Which I will spend it. I'll burn it. Take no damage. It's actually not a bad play. It's forcing me to get rid of the... Uh, out of there. And so moving at speed three still. Mm -hmm. And Ozzel's going to try and escape before... Uh, uh, makes sense. Which more happens before Darth Vader catches up to him. Right, we're going to go ahead with my uh, unmarked Star Cruiser. It is a Navigate. Don't have much to do. Um going to uh, do some flacking. I can reach Jenden, Saber, and uh, Tell. I've actually got Tell, I think, double art. I do. So we'll do the side shot first on Tell. For damage. Alright, and um, I think she's just going to take that. Okay. Well, that's on Tell there. Yep, yep. Down to three hit points. Yep, then we'll do the front shot into Tell for damage. Alright, and I think she's going to scatter that. Scatter that one, okay. Then on Saber for nothing. And then on Jenden for one. Alright, so, um, yeah, he'll just take that. Yeah. If I can't break And one. Saber, I don't think, is taking any damage, so he should be on. Yeah, three I just health. noticed that myself. Yep. Go ahead and fix that. It's such a shame that he can't snipe ships. Right? <laughs> Alright, now moving at speed three. Time to chase down this running away auger. Can't be having that. Let's do a little side shuffle here and get ready to be hit by a whole bunch of. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna land on everybody. 
right? This right here. Right, and you get to place your dudes. All right, is that with all four of those squadrons that are second? Yep. All right, sounds good. So now we'll be engine teching. Oh. We're gonna, oh yeah, you're our engine teching. If you wanna see, you're just gonna put them right in the front? Uh, well, if it lines up, I wanna put them on the side where you don't have any shields. So here's one thing you can wait on, you can just do, line them up all in the front, mm -hmm. then I engine text and I'm gonna land on all of them again. So, so engine text, and now you get to place them. <laughs> and we'll just do it like this. Yeah. Set them on the side where I got no shields. It's gonna be a very, very rude awakening from the starfighters. Yes. Now they do have to be touching the base when you place them. Oh yes, you are right. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get all of them. The arc, which I don't think I can do. Yeah, I think one might have to miss out. Yep, but that's okay. We can just go for the front and You have to take any damage in this game. But he's going to. We're going to see if we can take any hot shots. You do, you do have. I think we do have that at long range with the front arc. Yeah, I'm seeing if you got me. Let's do this. Let's see. And you, you are getting me out the side as well. So you got long range, side, and front will also be long range. All right, so it's going to be time for uh, Palpatine to get his revenge on all the just the absolute punishment of the Imperials. All right, so we're going to do the front shot first. Uh, yep. And this will be under the Corona, so three reds. All right. Um, hmm. I do think I'm, I want to uh, use veteran gunners for that. Okay. See, that's better. And you can use that accuracy because the solar corona part is only after you um, roll the first time. So. Right. So um, I think I'm going to, at this range, a uh, an evade only cancels one die. Unless I burn it because you're a larger ship than me. Right. So I think I'm just going to accuracy one of your evades. It's actually one of my evades, so I will cancel a double, and then I will redirect. Uh, was this into my side or front? It was into your side. My side. I will then redirect to my front. One damage, and then your side shot. One red. All right. And it's a blank. Unfortunately. I'm gonna use use my two. I'll be. There we are. Okay, so we it is a navigate, and I will be using it starting off with system flacking. Let's just go out the side at tell and. Oh, uh, sec. Who else can we get out the side? No one out the side, but then out the rear, we can get suit here. Actually, just suit here. So, tell, poor damage. Alright, and uh, he's just gonna scatter that. Well, this is Tell Trevor. Oh, it's Tell Scatter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. You know what? It's, it's just one damage, right? Yep, this okay, one. Okay, so she'll just take it. Yep, she's just down to two. And then Suits here will be for nothing. <laughs> kind of went in the order that was not as beneficial. All right, so I actually ended up not using the dial. That's fine. Just going to go straight three. Like so. And I believe. Oh, wait, no, that isn't everything. I forgot my GR75. Um, which I forgot to plan its dial, so we'll just say it has no dial. Um, doesn't need to pass any tokens off. It's actually not doing much of anything. Um, Yeah, I was just going to move her like this. Now we're done with the ship phase. Into the squad phase, we got some squad attacks. Very well. All right. So, um, Send it on in. We'll do, um, we're going to do the squadrons at the MC-80 first. Yep. So we'll do it um, from left to right on my side. So uh, we'll start with these interceptors in your front with one blue. Yep, and I got two shields there. And accuracy, so big fat nothing. Yep. 
Now we got everything else is going to be into my unshielded side. So first we got Colonel Jendon, which is an accuracy. Then we got our uh, Saber Squadron, which I believe uh, hits with one blue. Correct. Which is another accuracy. Mm -hmm. And then we have Sontir Fell, which is going to be uh, another accuracy. It's very, you guys just, you're lazing me, putting lazing targets down for some heat seeking missiles that are coming in. Yep, something like that. And then, I think only my Kuat had uh, ordnance though. And we'll just activate all these. And then uh, we're going to have uh, Fel, or Tell rather, come in and um, she's going to try her luck with it as well with Rogue. And then another blue. And that's one. And there we go. Well, I will redirect that. I'm going to redirect it to the back. All right, that's it for the ship phase, guys. We'll be back at the start of round five. All right, round five. And uh, things are going to come down to the wire. This Onager is sitting at, I think, four health remaining. I'm trying to chase him down. Even though I'm first player, I could take a shot, but here's the problem. Maydeen is in danger, so <laughs> we're just going to go right to that right now. Maydeen is getting out of dodge. <laughs> Get away from this external Rax, Kuat. Um, and I got to get away toward next round, the last round, I might have a shot at the Onager to try to finish this off. Um, I just don't know if it's worth me... The thing is, is it worth losing Maydeen to try to kill the Onager? I think I'm going to wait. I got to try to keep Maydeen alive. So, yep, it is going to be a navigate. I'm not shooting because of Palpatine. I'm going to give up my defense tokens. And uh, move that speed four. I think this is really just going to be a just burning away, run away from Palpatine. We're not going to tangle with him. Like so. This is a nav dial, but um, I think hmm. you can throw some shots out your back inside. Yes. Side shot obstructed into my tier seventy five. I think it'd be more beneficial in the long run to well, yeah, let's see. Yes, in the long run it'd be more beneficial to shoot at the front of your star cruiser, I think. Because we're in medium range. And softening up your shields for the star fighters is really good. That is a good plan. Yeah. Right on medium. Alright, we'll just do this here. So what's uh, we got red and blue? Yep. All right. So hit and a crit. Hit and a crit. I'll go ahead and. Well, I uh, can tell. I am going. To see what do you have left over? I ha I still have double brace and redirect on this one. Okay. Um. Hmm. I am going to intel officer your redirect. Well, then I'll just brace. I don't want to get rid of my redirect yet. So shields down to one on the front. And do I have a shot from that side arc? I think you do. Yep, you got obstructed. Mm -hmm. So you get two red and blue, you just gotta take one away. Yep, so we'll just do, um, yeah, we'll just do one red and one blue. Okay, one red, one blue. And I had it in my hand, I don't know why I closed the door. And this shot is also still under the corona. Mm -hmm. Two hits. I will scatter that. I don't have a scatter. Oh, that's right, you made me burn it. Um, and, uh, I, I'm gonna have you. I actually am not gonna do anything. Oh, well, that's a good question. I think I do. And a veteran gunners. Same thing. Exact same thing. Two hits. I will not have you reroll anything. I'll just take it. So I'll take a damage on the shield and a damage face down. Excellent. Now, Admiral Ozel, who graduated from the Imperial Academy on Coruscant, he has hatched a new strategy. That's gonna win the battle today. Yeah. Which is retreat in the opposite, or not retreat, but advance in the opposite direction. Oh uh, yes. He's gonna do a full 90 degree turn, and he is just. Yep, I think he just missed it. He barely misses yep. the debris field. Go ahead and go with the liberty that was just shot. It's a navigate, and we are gonna do some flacking. So we will start with uh, interceptor squad up front for a hit. 
take the hit. Oops. I think I got Jinden double arced out the side. Um, I believe you do, just barely. Yep, so we'll still out the front into Jinden. We've got another hit. He must take it. Yep. And then we'll go into Tell, who has two health left, but still full defense tokens for a hit. On a Tell, he's gonna, or she's gonna scatter. Scatter. Sutir, hit. And he's going to also scatter that. Saber Squad, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> on the one squad <laughs> on the has one. no yep, defense Yep, exactly. Tokens. All right, now for movement. You're gonna be chasing down Dishonager to get one final shot the next round on this thing. I don't know if it'll be enough. I think I'm just gonna go straight. Yep, we are just gonna go straight. I think I might hit this asteroid. Nope, I just missed it. And then we go engine ticks. The turn. Try to get a double arc. See if that's enough. So it comes the next round. I'm straight fire for the cut. Now let's see what I'm in range with. I believe I'm in. Am I in medium range? No. No, that yeah, does not appear range. to be the case. But we can still do a long range, and I think it's going to be at your side arc. Yeah, nice yeah. on my side with no shields. And it's going to be three hits. Um, I believe I will veteran gunners that. Okay. That's a bit better. Not a whole lot better, but... Yep, so one damage. Yep. Face oh, down. Uh, speed damage. 2. We're going to stay at speed 2. I'm just going to get right in the face of that MC-80. Gotcha. And hopefully we'll go with the PR-75 uh, first. It is a concentrate fire. We're going to be doing some flacking at these pesky squads. So I'll start with my side arc flacking. Which I'm not going to have that much out in the front because there might be there will be some obstruction. And I think I actually don't even don't even have range. Now that I think about it. Uh, I do not, I don't think. Yep, I do not. So I just have a double arc onto this tight intercept of sword. Can I kill a squad? So we'll start with the side shot for damage. And we'll concentrate fire for damage. Ooh, so we'll take it out. And I'm not capable of using my reserve hangers because I'm out of range and it goes on to die. Oh, that is true. And then movement. We'll be moving speed dos. Um, actually, I think we'll just go straight. Right into the hornet's nest. Hi, guys. And now we'll go to my liberty over here. And, I mean... Gotta do it now. I guess I don't have to attack. So this but, is the big one. Um, now I have to see. Do I have a side shot? If I have a side shot, I might take it. I do have side arc to the side, but front is only gonna be. Let's cross the line. Oh man. I'm going to have to burn my brace to take these shots. So I've got one defense token left. Which means that you're going to be able to hammer me with an external Rex shot. You're going to be able to do that anyway. So yeah, we're going to take the shot. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're going to start side to side. This is an untouched Kulak. And I burned my brace for both these shots because Palpatine. Alright, first shot. Under the side. Have to get rid of that right away. So three damage. So three side, no accuracies. So, and these don't have X17? They do. They have XI7. So, they yeah. can only redirect one. Okay, so I'm going to redirect one to the rear, and then uh, we'll just take it to shields. Okay? So, it's going to be a one shield. Sounds good. Then, the front shot in the front, there is electronic warfare system. I'm going to take away a red. So, it'll be four blue, two red into the front. And again, have to get rid of that accuracy right away because this is into the Krona. That'll be six damage. Six damage. Well, 
I'm going to brace. Okay. So down to three. And if it's against the front, I am then going to use my other redirect to uh, redirect one to the side. And two on the front. Two on the front. All right. All right. Trying to get out of this front arc. So, Nadine, dial. And then, using engine text. Oh, we are on a blue. Uh, actually, everybody should be blue because they have not attacked it. And an engine text like so. Swing out of that front arc. If I got it, I did. All right, and that is it for the ship phase. Uh, squad phase, do they want to attack my GR-75 or do they want to chase something um, else? I think what we're going to do is I'm going to use my... I'm going to activate Jendon. And he's going to use his ability to instead activate um, Lovely Tell. Okay, so Tell doesn't get activated that way. So first you want to send yeah. Tell over first with Rogue oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah, take yeah. the shot. And then, and then Jendon yeah, will tell her to attack again. Yeah. All right, okay, so a couple so, blues into my unshielded side. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yep. Well, I do have an evade, so do, they do oh, need yeah. to be separate. So here we go. So an accuracy. Okay, and then, and then a hit. I'll have you reroll that. Okay. A crit. Good. And then we're gonna have Fell and the Sabers attack the rear. Well, the front. But or the the front right there. Yep. I don't know. Rebel ships look the same from everywhere. Yep. They they yeah. They're just a bunch of uh, Looks like a space potato. potato bugs. Yep. All right, crit. And one hit. All right, I'm just going to take that on the shield on the front. All right, guys, that is it for round five. We'll be back at the start of round six. A couple interesting things going on. I'll get one last shot here at this onager. And then I'll get hammered by this kuat. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. straight into round six and I'm changing my mind. I think I'm going to let the Onager go. This could uh, potentially cost me the game. It's going to be very close. Now, I could kill that Onager. Most definitely. But I'd be trading my liberty. I told you about that. Yeah, that would make sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a side front shot. I don't think I'm going to kill the Kuat, but I'm going to take the shot. The reason being because I have to get away. I cannot take the hit. I have no shields here. He's got external wrecks. So he'll have four black, a blue, and a red. All he has to do is do seven damage to kill me. I have no braces or redirects left over. So I'm going to take the shots and move and get out of dodge and basically let the Onager live and we'll just go to really close point uh, <laughs> calculations after this. Yeah. So it is a navigate. Um, all right, so side shot first. This is not into the Krona. To the side of the Kuat, has two shields there. I have to take one away because of electronic warfare system. You have no defense targets left, but you would spend one for Palpatine. Yep. I think I'm going to just get rid of a red. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to use this as a damage with SW7, so two damage. Two damage. And so it makes I7. Correct. So, um... Just, you know, before you decide to redirect to the rear, if you do, I do have a clear shot front to back. I think I'm instead of going to redirect to the front. Yep, sounds good. So one to the front, one to the side. Yes. I think it's I gotta do the shot to the rear then and not focus fire so I don't have to give up a, a dice. But I am shooting into the corona, so I have to give up an accuracy after my first roll. I'm not gonna kill this thing. This is just gonna some parting shots. No accuracies. And then we will link to laser towers. Well, I forgot about that when I was flacking over there. Gosh, I gotta remember that for flacking. Yeah. All right, well, that works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So uh, yeah. first I'm gonna brace. Yeah, it's so a brace to four. You can redirect one. Yeah, and then we're gonna redirect one from the uh, starboard side. Yep. So how many do I have left? Three to go into the back, and one gets on the shield. Uh, you probably want to contain as well. Yeah, so we're gonna, just gonna take two hits. Yep. Or two, uh, yeah, two, yep, two, yep. two runs to get away from these external racks. 
Let me SB3. And do a super jank with. Let's get this out of the way now. Super jank with Jenden in the dial. Like so. And then we will engine text. And just, since it is the last round, just to try to present my theory with Hay Shield. <laughs> Bring me back. And so, if we want, we can go in and I think we can call it there because the Kuat isn't going to kill that and the Kuat's not going to go off the board. Onager is going to survive because that's going next and I won't get a shot. Um, I'm not going to kill anything here with flacking because I don't have enough dice to do it. Um, and you have scatters and everything. So the last thing we have is I, I think it's just me moving these two ships and seeing what kind of flacking you have. Right, and uh, I mean, potentially I could kill those transports. Yes, so I will go to move my transport for its movement. And uh, do Maydeen first. Maydeen would have just kept flying, getting away from people. Transport would do this maneuver like so. All right, then we can go and go to the squad phase. Very well. So, starting with Tell, and that's definitely enough allowance to get into. Uh, what do you do? Do you have four. You Move might be able to get to the front. We also want to make sure you don't get. A, you need to stay at two from Jenden. You're right. So Jenden can have her attack again. So I think if I do it like this, that's still within Jenden's distance too. That is, it is. Yep, and you'll get into my unshielded side. So uh, we'll roll one for uh, that rogue first. Yep, alright, so the rogue move. And it's a hit. I will have to re-roll that. My evade. And it's an accuracy. And then Jenden's. Jenden's going to activate and have her go again. Yep. Do it again. A hit. I will burn my evade. Another hit. All right. One health left. All right. Now, let's see. I'm not sure if these interceptors are in, in range to be engaged with him. Suntra definitely is. I'm just going to get him out of the way so that you can see. They are. They are. So if Suntra can drop a shield and then the interceptor get a hit. Yep. So we'll go to my uh, side. We'll go Suntra first. Yep. That's a hit. And then Interceptor. I can't do anything about this. That's another hit. So GR-75 does go down. I think that will be the difference. All right. So we'll go to points and we'll be back at the post-game interview. All right. So final total came down to be very uh, close. So I scored... Uh, 44 points and Ben scored 59 and yeah this was definitely a very uh, fly by each other in a wave kind of game and several ships almost dead but not quite dead kind of thing. Um, I'm thinking if I would have gone out the Onager and, and killed it I still would need to roll well to kill it. The thing is I think my liberties cost more than the Onager does so he would have still killed this and then he's definitely would have blasted away my liberty I was right next to him. I cannot foresee odds of four blacks, a red, and a blue not getting seven damage. <laughs> so, especially when you have veteran gunners just in case, and leading shots, so you have all the opportunities to get the damage you need. So I think it still would have been the same result, just more points on the board. So, Ben, what do you think? How did you feel your list played and how the match went? Uh, I think it went really good. I mean, I, I think this is just a perfect example of you. You cannot possibly overstate the value of uh, a piloting in the game. Right, yes. <laughs> um, because... Uh, as at the end of the day, it really just came down to just being able to evade those star cruisers long enough and just getting uh, enough points on the small ships. Yep. Um, like you said, it's been a, a very much fly by each other and wave kind of game. And uh, though I had a bit of a run for my money here because my list is definitely more tailored towards like slower speed fleets. Right. They're designed to uh, more so just snowball on top of you. But um, 
it's a you know, I, I felt very countered by this list because your star cruiser is just so fast they can move out of my out of all my good arcs at a moment's notice. I only fired my super weapon twice this game. Yeah. Uh, I didn't fire my from my front arc and my cool off one time. And so uh, like I said, just, this has been one hundred percent just a, a piloting victory for sure. Yeah. And your squads and I mean they actually did more damage I think than the Kuat than the Kuat did. Absolutely. And they definitely so the squads, even though they're not bombers the beast things they were able to add up was enough to take things out. Yeah, so you, you definitely cannot sleep on uh, interceptors when your opponent's running no squadrons. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, I think for sure, I, I think for my, at the start of the game when my Liberty was coming around to the right flank on my perspective, um, I could should have cut the speed and did a harder turn to stop the Onager from escaping, try like maybe Randy or Bumpia. And then it could have gotten a better shot on you from its front arc, maybe, instead of the side. But uh, uh, you did a good job of threading the needle and getting by both of them and just shooting off and running away. And the way that everything kept getting set up, I didn't want to take this shot as first player into the back of your honor group because that meant that Maydeen was probably going to die because you had a nice close-up double arc with your Kuat on the Maydeen. And then again, at the last round, uh, uh, only... Seven health remaining on my Star Cruiser, no shields, no defense tokens, and you still had external wrecks. So it was also a good passive defense game by forcing me to basically make decisions not to shoot your honor. Group. <laughs> so, otherwise, I would have to trade other ships, and I don't know if that'll be worth it. Yeah, it's definitely proof that you don't have to have a whole lot of defense tokens or a whole lot of uh, defensive models to defend well. Yeah, well, I mean, just the threat of something is enough to defend uh, a ship, just to prevent, you know, to force your opponent to move something else first to keep it safe. So. Very interesting game. The Chrono came in clutch a lot. Um, the action, some, a lot of actions that hit, I wasn't able to use. This is my second time playing Chrono as um, first player in it doing that. So I don't know if I'm going to keep picking that <laughs> because it keeps screwing me over with these actions I have to get up. So, but uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Just a reminder again for the giveaway. Just comment in the comments below what you thought about our fleets in the battle. That'll enter you in. And I'll uh, announce the winner on January 3rd. And uh, if you want to get anything from Admiral Tater, use Downsize at 10 for 10% off of anything you get in his shop. So, Ben, thanks for the thanks for the match. I think it was a good debut on the channel for you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take it easy.